I used to be unhappy. I used to take all that I had for granted and never wanted to do anything to make my life better, which left me feeling stuck in a rut and you may be able to relate to this feeling. And I can tell you, being grateful is single-handedly one of the best habits you can do to improve your mental health. I've been inconsistently practicing gratitude for over two years now. I can confidently say it's changed my life in a way that I could never have imagined. And it, if you take it seriously, it can do the same for you. Truth is, many people in the modern world aren't happy, and the statistics show it. Mental health problems such as depression and anxiety are on the rise almost everywhere you look. Whether that be because of our fucked up hormones, the amount of time people spend on social media, or the food we eat. There are so many problems in this world adding to a statistic, and many of them aren't going to slow down. So how can you, and how should you, take this matter into your own hands, be accountable for your own mental health, and start to take steps down the path of becoming happier? And don't just do this for you. If you're going to commit to this, you're also doing this for your family and your future wife and children. So stay accountable and improve your mental health for them. So first, why would you want to be happier? Well, you're happy. I think that's a pretty big one. But also it helps to enhance your productivity. It helps you put you in a better mood that is more inclined to start and continue healthy habits than bad ones such as exercise and meditation. People will feel better around you and want to be around you more often if you're happy and an uplifting person. And happiness is also a good predictor of, for longevity. So you theoretically will live longer. And you can achieve happiness through gratitude or gratitude journaling. Gratitude is defined as the quality of being thankful, a readiness to show appreciation for and to return kindness. Simply put, it's when you feel thankful for the good or even the bad things in your life. And you can do this just in your head. Close your eyes now and do this with me. Think of three things you are most grateful for today in this moment. This could be as small as you're grateful for the bottle that allows you to drink water when you're thirsty and stay hydrated, or even that you're breathing air at the moment and that you're alive. Whatever it be, hold this thought and feeling gratefulness in your mind for a moment and just take the time to be thankful for it. You can open your eyes now. In my opinion, doing this is good because you can do it whenever and wherever. But I also think that writing down what you're grateful for on paper is actually 10 times better because you're able to fully visualize what it is you're grateful for. And this is called gratitude journaling. Every day, you could either write down three bullet points of things that make you grateful, or you could go into more depth and write about why it makes you feel grateful and what it allows you to do that you couldn't have done without it. You might also think gratitude or journaling is gay or for girls. Well, you're a pussy, stay weak and depressed. You could also express gratitude directly to other people through a message. You can send it online, through a physical letter or by telling them face to face. This is a lot harder to do, but it's a hundred times more rewarding both mentally and physically because the other person will know that you are grateful for them, which will in turn make them happier and overall improve your relationship with them. So from tomorrow, or even today, start implementing this into your life and try to practice gratitude whenever and wherever you can. I want to see you succeed. And if you want to see that from yourself too, comment down below how and how often you're going to practice gratitude to keep yourself accountable. Hope this helped bro. Stay strong brother and make yourself proud.